Hello everyone, this is Naneshwar Sanat, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry at Maratha Vidya Prasad Samaj, Arts, Commerce and Science College, Bindal. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the molecular orbital energy level diagram for nitric oxide that is EFO and nitrosyl ion that is EFO plus molecular ions. Let us see one by one. First one is molecular orbital energy level diagram for nitric oxide. Basically, nitric oxide is formed by the combination of one nitrogen atom and one oxygen atom together. To understand how this molecule is formed, we have to first of all understand the electronic configuration for the nitrogen as well as oxygen. The electronic configuration for the nitrogen is 1s22, 2s22 and 2p3. There are two cells in which the electron is distributed for the nitrogen. The first cell in which two electron and second shell that is valence shell in which five electrons. This first shell electron is not participate in the bonding, but the second shell electron that is this five electron that is 2s and 2p electrons is participate in the bonding. The electronic configuration for the oxygen atom is 1s22, 2s22 and 2p4. There are two shell in which the electron is distributed for the oxygen also. The first shell in which Two electron that is 1s22 and second shell in which 6 electron that is 2s22 and 2p4. This valence shell 2s and 2p electrons is participated only for the bonding and that's why we write the tabulated electronic configuration for the nitrogen and oxygen one by one. For nitrogen 2s22 and 2p3. Similarly for oxygen 2s22 and 2p4. Now let us start the actual drawing of molecular orbital energy level diagram. For drawing the molecular orbital energy level diagram, we have to write the valence shell atomic orbitals in the increasing order of energy one by one. But during the writing of atomic orbitals in the increasing order, we have to keep in mind, first of all, on the left hand side, we have to write at the higher energy, less electronegative atomic orbital and on the right hand side, we have to write atomic orbitals of a more electronegative element with the lower in energy for the same symmetry and same energy. Let us see how to write it. Out of these two elements, the nitrogen is less electronegative with respect to the oxygen and that's why we write the nitrogen on the left hand side like this. The 2s shell at the lower energy and 2p shell at the higher energy. This 2s shell having the two electron in it and 2p shell having the three electron in it. Similarly, we have to write the atomic orbital for the oxygen on the right hand side but during the writing of atomic orbital for the oxygen atom we have to keep in mind the 2s atomic orbital of oxygen having lower in energy with respect to the 2s atomic orbital of nitrogen similarly 2p orbital of oxygen having lower in energy with respect to the 2p orbital of nitrogen atom let us write it diagrammatically 2s of oxygen atom is lower in energy with respect to the 2s of nitrogen atomic orbital. Similarly, 2p atomic orbital of oxygen is lower in energy with respect to the 2p atomic orbital of nitrogen. It's because of oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen and that's why we write the atomic orbitals of the same symmetry and same energy at the different energy level for both atoms. Because Whenever we think about the difference in electronegativity that time, the more electronegative atom is contributed towards the bonding molecular orbital or formation of bonding molecular orbital more predominantly and less electronegative atom or atomic orbitals contributed towards the formation of antibonding molecular orbital. That's why we write this same energy and same symmetry atomic orbitals at the different energy. When this 8 atomic orbital from nitrogen and oxygen combines together, they form the 8 molecular orbital. Out of this 8 molecular orbital, 4 is bonding molecular orbital and 4 is antibonding molecular orbitals. When 2s atomic orbitals of nitrogen and oxygen combines together, they form the 2 molecular orbital. Out of this, the lower molecular orbital called as bonding molecular orbital and it denoted by using the symbol sigma 2s. Similarly, higher energy antibonding molecular orbital is denoted by sigma star 2s. Similarly, when 2p atomic orbitals of nitrogen and oxygen combine together, they form the 3 bonding molecular orbital and 3 antibonding molecular orbital. Out of this 
थ्री बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल लोअर एनर्जी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल कॉल्ड एज सिग्मा बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एंड इट डिनोटेड बाय यूजिंग द सिंबल सिग्मा 2px द हायर एनर्जी पाई बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल इज डिनोटेड बाय पाई 2py एंड पाई 2pz bonding molecular orbital respectively these two bonding molecular orbital are degenerate in energy similarly the anti bonding molecular orbital that is pi star 2py and pi star 2pz is also degenerate in energy and highest energy anti bonding molecular orbital that is sigma anti bonding molecular orbital is denoted by using the symbol sigma star 2px from this molecular orbital diagram we have concluded to one point that is whatever atomic orbital of oxygen atom is near to the bonding molecular orbital similarly for 2p also and whatever atomic orbital of nitrogen atom is nearer to the anti bonding molecular orbital that means the more electronegative atom is more contributed to the bonding formation and less electronegative atom is always more contributed to the formation of anti bonding molecular orbitals now next important point is filling of electron in molecular orbitals basically we have eleven electron in the atomic orbital of nitrogen and oxygen and we have to put this eleven electron in the molecular orbital in increasing order of energy the first electron goes to the lower energy sigma 2s atomic orbital similarly second also comes to the sigma 2s atomic orbital the third electron goes to the sigma star 2s atomic orbital fourth electron also goes to the sigma star 2s atomic orbital Fifth electron comes to the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, that is the sigma 2px. Similarly, sixth electron also comes to the lowest unoccupied sigma 2px molecular orbital. The seventh electron comes to the lowest unoccupied pi 2py orbital, and eighth electron comes to the lowest unoccupied pi 2pz. This eighth number of electron comes to the pi 2pz molecular orbital instead of pairing in the pi 2pz orbital according to the Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity. The ninth electron comes to the pi 2py lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, and tenth electron also comes to the pi 2pz bonding molecular orbital. The eleventh electron goes to the higher energy lowest unoccupied pi star 2py anti bonding molecular orbital. This is the energy sequence of adding the electron in molecular orbital. The next important point is writing the electronic configuration for the molecular orbital in the increasing order of energy level. But before writing the electronic configuration for the molecular orbital, we have to keep in mind there is one orbital in the nitrogen and oxygen which is not participate in the bonding. That is one s orbital for the both atom. We have to write the k for the one s atomic orbital for nitrogen and oxygen twist during the writing of electronic configuration, and that's why the resultant electronic configuration is k k sigma two s two two. Sigma star 2s22, sigma 2px22, pi 2py22 is degenerate with the pi 2pz22, pi star 2py21, and pi star 2pz20. The next important point is calculation of energy evolved during the formation of NO molecule. Basically, energy evolved is calculated by using the formula number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital into minus beta. Plus number of electron in antibonding molecular orbital into plus beta. There are total eight number of electron which is present in the bonding molecular orbital, and there is total three electron is present in the antibonding molecular orbital. Put this value of number of electron in bonding and antibonding molecular orbital in the formula, and we get the equation of eight into minus beta plus three into plus beta. After solving this, we get the result of minus five beta. As a stabilization energy, that is the energy evolved during the formation of nitric oxide molecule. The next important point is calculation of bond order. Basically, bond order is calculated by using the formula number of electron in bonding molecular orbital minus the number of electron in anti bonding molecular orbital divided by two. After adding the value in the formula, we get the equation eight minus three divided by two. After solving it, we get the values of two point five. That means there is formation of two and half bond between the nitrogen and oxygen during the formation of nitric oxide molecule. The next point is stability. On the basis of energy evolved and bond order, we are conclude to that there is formation of bond between nitrogen and oxygen atoms and formation of 
metric oxide molecule is possible. The next important point is magnetic property. There is one unpaired electron in pi star antibonding molecular orbital, and that's why the nitric oxide molecule is paramagnetic in nature. And the magnetic moment of nitric oxide is 1.84 Bose magneton experimentally. The next molecular orbital energy level diagram is nitrocyl ion. Basically, nitrocyl ion is formed by the combination of nitrogen and oxygen atom together. But the molecule having one electron less than that of nitric oxide molecule. To understand how this nitrocyl ion is formed, we have to understand the electronic configuration of each atom one by one. The electronic configuration for nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. Similarly, the electronic configuration for oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4. Out of these two shell, second shell electrons is participate in the bonding formation for the nitrogen as well as oxygen. And first shell, that is 1s shell, does not take part in the bonding. Let us write this electronic configuration of valence shell in the tabulated form for the both atom. For nitrogen, 1s2 and 2s2, 3. Similarly, for oxygen, 2s2 and 2p4. There are total 11 electrons in the valence shell of nitrogen and oxygen. But for nitrocyl ion, the 1 electron is less, and that's why we write the minus 1 electron here. And resultant total 10 electron is participate in the formation of nitrocyl ion. Let us start the drawing of molecular orbital energy level diagram. For a drawing of molecular orbital energy level diagram, we have to write the balance shell atomic orbital in increasing order of energy. When two different atoms combine together for the formation of molecular orbitals or molecule, that time we have to write the less electronegative atom on the left hand side and more electronegative atomic orbital on the right hand side. And that's why we write the nitrogen valence shell atomic orbital in increasing order of energy on the left hand side and first we have to write the 2s atomic orbital of nitrogen at the lower side and 2p orbital of nitrogen at higher energy side. Here I write the 2 electron instead of 3 electron in 2p orbital because we have to write 1 electron less for the NO plus molecular ion. On the basis of difference in electronegativity between the nitrogen and oxygen I just remove the one electron from nitrogen because nitrogen is less electronegative than that of oxygen. Similarly, we have to write the atomic orbital of oxygen on the right hand side. But during the writing of atomic orbital of same symmetry and same energy, we have to write the atomic orbital of more electronegative atom at the lower energy with respect to the atomic orbital of less electronegative atom, that is nitrogen atom. And that's why we write the 2s atomic orbital at lower energy with respect to the 2s atomic orbital of, of nitrogen atom. Similarly, we have to write the 2p atomic orbital of oxygen atom at higher energy with respect to the 2s atomic orbital of oxygen. But the 2p orbital of oxygen atom is lower in energy than that of nitrogen 2p atomic orbital. Keep in mind always. When this 8 atomic orbital combines together, they form the 8 molecular orbital. Out of this 8 molecular orbital, 4 is bonding molecular orbital and 4 is antibonding molecular orbital. When 2s atomic orbital combines together, they form the 2 molecular orbital. The lower molecular orbital formed by the combination of 2s atomic orbital according to the LCO principle is denoted by the symbol sigma 2s. And antibonding molecular orbital is denoted by the symbol sigma star 2s. Similarly, when 2p atomic orbital of nitrogen and oxygen combines together, they produce the sigma bonding molecular orbital is denoted by sigma 2px and pi molecular orbital is denoted by pi 2py and pi 2pz molecular orbitals. In this pi 2py and pi 2pz molecular orbital are degenerate in energy levels. And antibonding molecular orbital formed by atomic orbitals of nitrogen and Oxygen is denoted by pi star 2py and pi star 2pz at a degenerate energy level and sigma star 2px at higher energy level. The next important point is filling off this 10 electron in the molecular orbital from the nitrogen and oxygen atomic orbital. The first two electron is comes to the lower energy sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital 
वन बाय वन अकॉर्डिंग टू दी अबो प्रिंसिपल एंड हंस रूल ऑफ मैक्सिमम मल्टीप्लिसिटी द थर्ड एंड फोर्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन कम्स टू दी सिग्मा स्टार टू एस एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल द नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन कम्स टू दी लोएस्ट अनऑक्युपाइड मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल दैट इज सिग्मा 2px एंड सिक्स्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन आल्सो कम्स टू दी लोएस्ट अनऑक्युपाइड सिग्मा 2px मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल द नेक्स्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन कम्स टू दी पाई 2py एंड पाई 2pz लोएस्ट अनऑक्युपाइड मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल अकॉर्डिंग टू दी हंस रूल ऑफ मैक्सिमम मल्टीप्लिसिटी एंड नेक्स्ट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन कम्स टू दी पाई 2py एंड पाई 2pz मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल एंड हियर the complete filling of 10 electron in molecular orbital is take place on the basis of this molecular orbital energy level diagram we are conclude to write the electronic configuration for the no plus molecular ion before writing the electronic configuration we have to write the twist k for the nitrogen and oxygen respectively because first shell electron of nitrogen and oxygen does not take part in the bonding and that's why the electronic configuration is kk sigma 2s22 sigma star 2s22 sigma 2px s22 pi 2py s22 is degenerate with the pi 2pz s22 and pi star 2py is zero pi star 2pz also zero there is one electron which is less in the pi star 2py orbital with respect to the nitric oxide molecule the next important point is calculation of energy level during the formation of nitrosyl ion molecule basically energy level is calculated by using the formula number of electron in bonding molecular orbital into minus beta plus number of electron in anti bonding molecular orbital plus beta there is only 8 electron present in the bonding molecular orbital and only 2 electron present in the anti bonding molecular orbital put this value of number of electron in bonding and anti bonding molecular orbital in the formula we get an equation of 8 into minus beta plus 2 into plus beta After solving this equation, we get the values of minus six beta, that is the stabilization energy, which is evaluated during the formation of nitrosyl ion. The next important point is calculation of bond order. Basically, bond order is calculated by using the formula number of electron in the bonding molecular orbital minus number of electron in anti bonding molecular orbital divided by two. After solving this, we get the values of three. That means there is formation of nitrogen oxygen triple bond in the nitrosyl ion molecule. The next important point is stability. On the basis of values of energy wall and the bond order, we are conclude to that there is formation of bond between the nitrogen and oxygen atom, and resultant formation of nitrosyl ion is possible. That is, the molecule of NO plus ion is exist. The next important point is magnetic property. Basically, there is no electron which is unpaired in nature in the molecular orbital of nitrosyl ion and that's why the molecule is diamagnetic in nature thank you thank you for watching